Hello everyone. If you are looking to connect your Dialogflow CX agent to OpenAI and want to answer all the user's query using OpenAI's API, then you are looking at the right video. This is Raj Kapadia and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to connect OpenAI text generation API to Dialogflow. So let's get started. Before you move forward, make sure you have the following things ready. First, you should have a Dialogflow CX account and an agent created inside Dialogflow CX. So that will look something like this. Second, you must have OpenAI API key. For the backend development, we will use Node.js and Express. So Node.js must be installed on your system. And in order to expose our local environment to internet so that Dialogflow CX can make a request on it, we need ngLock. So make sure it is installed on your system as well. Finally, you need to clone this repo on your local system. Either you fork it and clone it or just download it as a zip. If you do that, Please make sure you give a star to this repository, it helps. I have already cloned this repository on my local system. So the first thing I'll do is npm install hyphen hyphen save in order to install all the required packages. Oh sorry. Let me clear the screen. Once the packages are installed. You should create a .env file and inside that .env file create two variable port and open AI key. Port will be the port on which the local server will run and open AI API key is the API key of open AI. Once you set those two things, we are ready to move forward. I will start the server by saying npm start. We can verify that the server is running OK by going to browser and going to localhost 5000, we'll see OK status. Now I'll run ngLock. Make sure you use the same port as a localhost. So I will start the ngLock engine. I'll copy this forwarding URL. I'll go to dialog flow here under manage section. I'll go to webhooks. I have already created a webhook. Let me delete that. You can create a new webhook by clicking on that create new webhook button. Let me call it backend. The URL will be the ngLock URL followed by dialog flow route. So, Dialogflow will send a POST request on this route. Keep everything as it is and save the URL. Now I'll go to build section. Inside this start, I have default welcome intent. So I'll go to default welcome intent. At this point, I have deleted everything and I will enable the webhook. I'll select the webhook we have created here i'll give a tag name to the uh, request that you know dialogflow will fire so we will use this sample response tag name you can use any tag name but you need to make sure you uh, fire the text generation function for the correct tag name let me save this also, for uh, system no match default, I will delete all the responses and I'll enable webhook. I'll select the backend webhook we have created and provide the same tag name. So, whenever I fire a query which is not understood by this default welcome intent route, it will go to system no match default and then in turn it will go to the webhook and then open AI 
find the answer and send the response back to the dialog flow and dialog flow will show the answer in the uh, console so let's test the working before we do that let me show you the code section code section is simple so we require all the packages that we need create a uh, express application um, then provide some settings provide the port here we create the open ai client this function calls open ai client uh, text generation uh, api endpoint if we go to open ai there is text completion uh, excuse me it's a text completion so text completion api and find the answer against the user's query and it will return the response or error here I have a function written to format uh, text according to the dialog flow response so that dialog flow can understand it and render it on the console. I also have created a small get error message just to you know get error message. Here in the post route of dialog flow we will receive the tag name and user query. If the tag name matches with the one we have set then we will call text generation, create a response and send it back to the user. Otherwise, we will send error message. And if in case uh, the tag name doesn't match, we will send this that uh, this is from a webhook and there is no tag set for this request. Finally, we will start the server. So let's test the connection. I'll go to Dialogflow CX and the uh, test agent section i'll first write hi when i write it you'll see a request came and 200 uh, response was sent so this is coming from our webhook let's say what is sos again you see a request came a response sent and we see the response here right a tag line for my cycle store yeah you see we got the response so this is how you can connect dialogflow cx agent to open ai api and kind of provide uh, answer to users query so I hope this video is helpful to you and you have gained some knowledge from this video. If you gain some knowledge and if you like the work I develop on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.